know, I, you know, I always felt like I had unfinished business here. Uh, but you know, Coach Spo, Pat Riley, and the whole coaching staff—they always kept me, kept me, you know, encouraged and kept me just keep going. And uh, you know, when I got the opportunity to come back, I jumped right on it. How did it come together that this ended up being the landing spot for you? You know, just just waiting, waiting for that right opportunity. I had a lot of teams talking to me, and you know, a lot of teams was interested in bringing me in, and, but. I felt like this was the right fit for me. Um, just the way they play, the style of basketball. I feel like I know their system, you know, by playing, you know, here six years ago, same coaching staff, same everything, and also playing against them in playoffs the years we have played against them. So it was, um, it, it just felt like it was a perfect fit for me. It was six years ago. When I was here, when I was here in camp, yeah. This is going to be my ninth year. I know. It flies, don't it? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. What are they, um, oh, I guess the better question has to be your expectation about competing for a roster spot. I mean, it's obviously, there's there's a ton of competition at every spot in this camp. What, what's your expectation? Uh, I think it's high. I mean, you know, I'm always sure of myself. I know what I can do, where I can bring to the table, and, you know, what I can provide. You know, I'm, I've never shied away from no competition before. Um, but I feel like the, the core group that they have so far, I think we can really do big things here. And as long as everybody get on the same page and everybody buy into the system, which pretty much everybody will, I think the sky's the limits for for this team. You had obviously one unforgettable moment. And the other <laughs> side, you know where I'm going. How often do you get asked about them? Oh, uh, man, I got off the plane yesterday and somebody was like, hey, that's the dude LeBron jumped over. When I got off the plane, I was like, well, welcome to Miami. <laughs> That's why I said to myself, you know, it, it's good. You know, it was, hey, it was a hell of a play. I mean, I haven't watched it in a while, but, you know, every time I walk into the locker room, they got a big picture of him jumping yes, over me do. before, I, you know, you enter into the locker room. So I'm always reminded of what happened here. I was going to ask if you saw that. <laughs> uh, you know, Juwan Howard pointed it out to me from the <laughs> jump. But, hey, it, you know, it's part of the game. I mean, you know, I think, you know, I was just happy that Blake Griffin dunked on um, – who was that he don't know? Brandon Jennings. No, it wasn't no, Brandon Jennings. Was Kendrick Perkins, so it kind of took the heat off me. You know, that happened two days later. So I wasn't I was on top 10 anymore. It was <laughs> I ended up moving. It was, De, it was DeAndre that killed me. That was, that was no, it was Blake years Griffin later. dunked on. No, it was on, DeAndre um, later. Yeah, DeAndre later, but Blake Griffin dunked on uh, Kendrick Perkins two days after I got jumped over, so it took the heat off me. So I was cool after that. <laughs> and to recap, who should be better at defending the rim, you or Kendrick Perkins? Kendrick Perkins should, should be. be. I mean, I, I I didn't even see LeBron coming. I tell you the truth, I bagged into the defensive spot I was supposed to be in. I can recall the play. Rip Hamilton got back screen. He was supposed to get through the screen. I had to end up taking that, and <laughs> I caught the bad end of it. I didn't really know what happened until I got subbed out the game, and I saw the replay. I was like. <laughs> I just didn't want to get yeah. I turned all my phone I turned my phones off when I got into the locker room you were just I, doing the job right just doing, <laughs> hey yeah I actually let somebody jump over me it was crazy I mean just the messages I got that day was crazy and then Twitter you know now social media it, it was a pretty tough 48 hours reading <laughs> everything <laughs> you um you like you said you, you you alluded to it you played against this team when Championships were expected here, and Spoh's been very open. He thinks this is a roster that should shoot for the moment. Absolutely. How, how much have you guys been told about that? Just in, even the process of you signing and all that. What, what that the expectations here are just as they were a few years ago. I believe, I believe so. I mean, look at the group of guys. Man. You know, Chris Bosh is healthy. He weighs healthy. Wild Dean's healthy. And you added Gerald Green, um, Amari Stoudemire, Gordon, and Rio is getting healthy, is healthy now. And I think if we have 15 guys who all know their role and all play their part, the sky is the limit. I mean, the East is a, the East is going to be tough this year, but who says we can't we can't compete for that spot too?